from Chocolate Paladin's team, and it was only like two crap ones as well, but it's still a fair is fair. Like, if the rules take off your runes, then you need to take off your runes off every day. Just missed, missed a couple, it's not a big, big deal, really. Um, matchup will get started. Hopefully, nobody has runes this time, and then we can get the fighting going. So, again, the teams should have the same setups that they had because they had time to basically see what the enemies have got, and they shouldn't really be changing anything. Um, it looks like for the attackers, they have basically the same thing. They have a good chunk of cavalry at the beginning to counter any potential sally outs. They've got a good wedge of anti cavalry, and then the rest is basically just trash. And they have their alchemy in it. And the defenders, it looks like they've got exactly the same as they had as well, so no problems there. Again, not units for a, for a sally out. It looks like the hero class. Same as well for both teams. And it's Colt. Let's go, Choco. Get the dub. We'll see though, man. Maisha Rocky is the best. I don't know about that. I mean, he's on a he's on a team of terrible players. So being the best of the terrible players. Really mean but the guy. <laughs> <laughs> and if anybody's wondering why I keep giving love and devotion shit, I literally train with them. Um and last season I was in a house with like 90% of the guys. I actually like them. I just like being an asshole. <laughs> it's the only way I can explain it. I just like being an absolute douche. <laughs> Prepare for battle. Get in position! Right. Let's see how both teams do. So again, this map is very, very defender. Like, the defenders have a very good advantage as long as they can hold around the A and B areas. Like, fighting up on the walls is maybe not the best because you can get treb. Um, it can work out for you, though, as we saw earlier this evening, but that was mainly because the trebs were just, like, really unlucky. So, no runes. Good to go. Good, 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 good. Very nice. Very, very nice. Right. Uh, button mushroom, no, there's no drops anymore. I think they might be for Frontier, so for the, the Asian servers, but for us, there are no, there are no drops. Are no drops. So, uh, as per usual, a slow start, especially on this map, it's a very slow start. It always takes, like, a good three minutes, it feels like, to get the Siege Towers in. Um, the attackers actually have Martels this time, though, so it should be slightly quicker. Again, looking at it, Chocolate Paladins are not going to be defending A. Um, they don't really have the units out. or not. I, I wouldn't use a lot of the units that they've got to actually defend the A point. Especially not like... Obviously, you can't use cavalry. Uh, Shenji's aren't going to do that well and Flames either. So, defending the bottom of the stairs is a good shout. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if Love and Devotion see like this strong defense here. And maybe try doing some rotation shenanigans. We'll see, though. Right, and it's called... What's up, buddy? sky for one <laughs> no, i'm doing good man how are you hope the games and the stream have been good so far i've in really enjoyed the games man um i act like the last game holy crusaders against baguette was like really good um i wasn't expecting i, I thought it was going to be a very even fight between those two and holy crusaders absolutely stomped baguette like absolutely stomped them and the two matches before were so close it was um buff blockers against rose both teams won their attack and then no beaches versus surf slayers. Both teams won the defense. So like some very good matches. Um, very well played from all all the teams involved. Um, the play I would like to say the players all played well as well. But like Dedo was in one of the matches and he's just terrible. So you know, ooh, we got some people dropping off here. What just happened? Two of the attackers jumped down. Interesting. So Chocolate Paladins tried jumping on a hero, got heavily punished for it. Um. They obviously slowed down the tower over here. So who just died from comparison? So Reed Rum and Free Fee Summy, eh? Don't know if that's what they wanted. They sallied out here as well with some Palace Guards as well. A lot of heroes jumping on there and getting some free kills as well, which is which is always Oh they had bloody What are they called? The crossbow cavalry. C5 one. I can't remember the name off the top of my head now. They do work, man, though. Like, they, they do a lot of damage in a short period of time as well. I can't remember the name of them. I don't, I don't have them, so I can't... Like, and I don't use archers anyway, so... Pfft. Archer cavalry. They're rubbish. <laughs> I honestly can't remember the name, though. 
Ket Smoker, it's called Brit British Banter, isn't it? But basically, yeah. <laughs> and I like I banter more than the average British person, let's say, because uh, I was obviously in the British Army for ten years. <laughs> but I'm a uh, let's let's say I I have a, a master's degree, if you like, on the on banter. <laughs> But like peop some people, like last last week, I was absolutely destroying Drayton and Crazy, uh, who play for Odin's Legion. <laughs> they got wrote to by a couple of guys, like, why is this Nine Fingers guy being, being an arsehole to you and being so mean? And they were just laughing, like, we actually know him, like, I've been, been, been playing with him for like well over a year. And then they were like, all right. <laughs> Nothing new with, with you then, Nine Fingers, being a douche as always, Serializer. Everyone loves a douche. <laughs> and I am the king of the douchebags. My claim to fame. Not that I've got nine fingers. It's just that I'm an absolute massive douchebag. Uh, Overlooks needs to be careful though. If a mole decides to run in and pick him up and yoink him, and then it's, it's GG's. Big GG's then. Right, we've got over here for terrible players. Got, got, got a fair, fair few terrible players. It's Papa Nami look being terrible. H and K being terrible. Rocky terrible. Bamberino being terrible. Then look at me, I'm on my horse. Ooh. <laughs> Where's the worst player though? Where was Bez Bubble? Is Bubble? Is he with Broken as well as he? Absolute dog, dog players. Terrible. I wanted to say Dog Wank then. I wasn't sure if I could say it. I just said it now anyway, but you know. So let's have a look at the units instead of me just, you know, chatting random things. So we've got Houndsman, Shenges, and Flames out for the attackers. For the defenders, they have the TFI Crossbow Cavalry, which I can't remember the name of. I want to say Rattan Rangers, but I'm not sure. Uh, they have flames and changes of their own as well. Good number of Modals, Silidars, and Iron Reapers. And thank you for the follow, Hurtler. Much appreciated, my guy. <clears throat> Apologies that my throat nearly died, but I need to drink some water. Right, let's see how they deal with this. So, so far, 77 units died for the attackers. Obviously, probably all terrible units. It actually looks like there's going to be a fight in the tunnel. I'm going to have to zoom in on this. <sighs> So we've got IPGs what, going off from the defenders they're pushing. They're pushing the Modao forward. Palace Guards are in the squat to ship position. They are not going to get moved by that. They'll start doing their shield bashes now. Flames coming in though. Good shout from the attackers. Maybe should have X moved them in slightly further so they could all shoot. The Houndsman doing work. I think that has not paid off for the defenders. Uh, push going on on this side as well. Apologies for missing that, but I was concentrating on the fight in the tunnel. Uh, there are some flames over here, so Love and Devotion need to jump down and get on top of those. Although, they don't seem to be shooting that much. Or oh, they're just being pushed to this side. I can't see where they are. Interesting. No, there's a couple here, look. So Papa Bear's all over them. He's got rid of the rest of them. He's about to die, though. He just died to Pringles. Kapan died as well. Uh, they need to be careful with these, these cavalry here. Rocky's in the back there. I think he was trying to get past them and just got stunlocked by the the, the the crossbow bolts. Rivals up here. Oh no, Ripcat, sorry. Just killed... Oh, my throat. He just killed another hero. So he's going after Bubbles now as well. But I don't know. Oh no, Bubbles is nearly dead. Bubbles is dead? Ooh. Bubbles getting destroyed by Ripcats. Ripcats just absolutely shredded through there. I'll have to check how we did after that. But that's like big losses for both teams. Uh, 360 units lost for the attackers, 286 for the defenders. Unit wise, uh, unit wise, heroes wise, even 12 9, so it was actually fairly close. Um, Rip Cats, though, just got three hero kills and three assists, so well done that man. Very, very good dual blade player. Like, I was expecting to get beaten there because of the, 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 the javelins, but I didn't see that Bubbles had so little health. Very well played, and he got ambient as well. Very, very well played, Rip Cats. Crazy deserves it though, he's a wanker. <laughs> it was Rat and Ranger, I thought it was. Uh, Hedo, this is the first game. Apologies. My throat's getting so dry though, I've been talking for like the last four hours non stop. Well not, well, not quite four hours, like three and a half hours so far. And uh, I'm not drinking enough water, so you know. So I don't understand why Love and Devotion are going for like a big gate push again. Um, I can't help but feel like that that's not the decision they should be doing. Oh, Outriders, like what unit's that? <laughs> My brain just froze for a little bit. So they've got great houndsmen out here doing some damage. I don't like that they've got three sets of cavalry out already. Um, 
Pushing through that tiny little gatehouse with just cavalry is not the way to go. Cataphract might get through, but the defenders have got two sets of flames out. They've got two sets of alchemists. They've got Shinji's out. They've got Tercio out. Madal. They've still got the Rattan Rangers doing work. So I don't... I can't... I can't help but feel like that's the bad idea. The IPG what going in now. Palace guys obviously have the shield block up when they charge. They've got their squad to shit on now, so they can't get pushed over. So excellent unit to stop IPGs. They didn't really have all the units in, so that's not good. Shinji bombs. So I think they waited... They timed that fairly well, so when the, the palace guard started standing up, Cataphract's got through fairly well there, though. Flames from the attackers as well, doing work on this area. One of the heroes just died, so his unit's pulling back. The rest of the guys are just sat in the tunnel doing damage. Multiple cavalry from the defenders as well, though. A couple of, um, a lot of Cataphract's actually pushing in there. They've just cleared out the bottom of the stairs. Elax try to get some kills in on them. Ripcats again going into the back lines and trying to get rid of some of the heroes and some of the, the, the stronger units as well. He's managed to escape. Blackwing and Broken Rock test up there with basically full health though, but the attackers just got wiped. They've basically got five heroes left. They need to they need to cool down. Unit wise though is 600 apiece left. However, the attackers have lost 600 and the defenders have only lost roughly 400. So we'd have to assume that the defenders have a lot better quality left on the field. They have a lot of cavalry out at the moment as well. Um, Loving Devotion need to just realize that they've tried the same push twice. It didn't work both times. Maybe they need to change tactics. Maybe they need to change tactics. And apparently they didn't watch any of the matches that happened earlier today because um, there's a three minute delay as well, Hedo, when you, when you see this in a sec. So, well, in three minutes it'll be for you. So uh, that's why I wrote to you so you could see it instantly so you knew it was the first game. But... Um, Oh, Rocky's just had to leave the battle. It's too late in the game, though, so there is no reset now for Rocky leaving, so we have to basically get back in as quickly as he can and then um, go from there. So, GRZ killed five heroes. Six even with his pole axe. Six even, so grats to GRZ. So they've gone up to the other set of stairs for now. Um, they still have, obviously, stuff on the floor because they've got quite a lot of cavalry out, which is, again... This has happened a few... This has happened actually every time that a defender's uh, actually managed to defend the bottom of the stairs very well. The attacker ends up having too much cavalry because cavalry is extremely useful when you actually get to fight on B and on the end point. However, if you can't get through the wall and you can't capture B so you get the respawns inside the city, having cavalry is a really bad way, like a really easy way to lose the fight then because you have to push it through the tiniest gate and then you have like a couple of units of defensive hikes and stuff and you just ruin. So the attackers are pushing in here as well. They've got their flames up. The defenders have got their flames up. Shenji bombs coming in. Very well placed. Attackers are pushing through with cavalry. There wasn't actually that many pikes there so they might actually be able to get through here. The defenders are coming in with cavalry from multiple directions though. That is going to be rough to deal with. Every single angle is getting absolutely smashed by cavalry. Multiple thunder strikes. Uh, thunderclaps even or the belly flop going off from the short swords from Love and Devotion. They are dropping heroes though. They have lost more heroes than the defenders. They are, they've just been wiped again. Very well played from Chocolate Paladins. The collapse there with their cavalry. They had them stationed in the back lines here at different points. Timed it exceptionally well to get through and try and get some damage off. Bubbles is going to try and get a cap off on B, but it's not going to take long for, for uh, Chocolate Paladins sorry, to see this and get in and kill him. Here comes Pringles and Zephira now. They've both got cavalry up as well. I'm pretty sure Pringles definitely does. Bubbles is about to die. Uh, nice effort, but the love and devotion have lost lost their attack. And again, this map is like this. There's stages to this map. Basically, fighting a, fighting A on the wall is difficult. You can do it, though. We did see a team win. I think there was no beaches that basically defended A. They didn't even lose A. Did very well, but they were incredibly lucky with... from Chocolate Paladin. Very strong performance. So they're at least going to get a draw tonight. That would be their first point. Um, and looking at how strong they were there, 
it looks like they could be on to get a, a full-on three-point win as well. So that was a strong defense. So XR Ruli and Bjornov, thank you very much for the follows, my dudes. Very much. And to everybody that's followed me in the past. People, we actually had quite a few followers tonight, man. So I'm, I'm going to go through them quickly now while there's basically nothing going on anyway, apart from loving devotion to hammers. So Pasha K, Free Toz, Captain Senior, Rotten Banano, She Sui, Dunder Sweden, Bell, Master Sengir, A Jamie to Remember, Dragon, Jinjin, Hurdler, X, S, X, Ruli, and Bjorn Thank you very much for the followers, my guys. Very much. So, Grandpa GRZ, he's the shot caller for Love and Devotion as well. Seven heroes killed, two deaths, four assists and 81 units. Uh, good chunk of tier five as well. Broken Vortex, he's, he is a player that is actually really good at going for, for specialist units. So he's got nine stiffer off on oil. That's like, what, one unit in a bit? Um, very well done from him. Here we've got third Blackwing. And apparently, let's go back to the discussion before, Ambient is the worst player <laughs> on Love and Devotion. Followed closely by Kizu, who I said was actually the best player. <laughs> Bubbles just about, just about in the, the, the bottom five still, so, oh my days. Right, let's have a look at the best players. Shagin Wagon, Plain Musket, 5 0, 11, and 120 units. He was second, though. MVP for though. I want to say that's though. 2 1, 15, and 130 units. Good chunk of Outriders, good chunk of Houndsmen. Free Flames as well. Um, Very well played to that guy. Rip Cats as well. 12 heroes killed. Shout out to Ripcats for absolutely nuking people with his Jewel Blades. Very well played. Um, very aggressive play as well with the Jewel Blades, man. Going to play against multiple enemy heroes. That is very nice to see. Let's see the fights. I'm pretty sure... Oh, that first one was actually pretty close. So this is the initial phase when they lost a few of their, their craps here outside. This 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 first little hump here on the, the side. This first push was extremely close. It didn't look like it, if I'm being honest. Because... Um, I think it's because the defenders lost a lot less heroes fight, but apparently they lost just as many units. But because they actually got a lot more of the hero kills in, it looked to me like the, the Love and Devotion got hammered on that push, but that was pretty much bang on. Like, that was equal. That was a tiny little bit better for Chocolate Paladin, but it's 